Essential Eligibility Criteria and Service Animal Policy. The Mountaineers values diversity, including persons with diverse abilities in its programs. While we do not specialize in integrating persons with disabilities into our programs, we encourage people of all abilities to consider participating in Mountaineers programming. The Mountaineers Essential Eligibility Criteria, or EECs, provide a guideline of the physical and cognitive skills needed for participation in programs sponsored by the Mountaineers. These EEC are intended to be a resource for anyone considering participating in a Mountaineers program and are not intended to be exclusionary. In practice, the Mountaineers EEC are a tool to assess requests for accommodation. They provide staff and volunteers with a framework to ask objective questions about a person's abilities relative to the physical and cognitive skills required to participate in a certain program. The Mountaineers EEC are also designed to supplement our club-wide activity standards, which outline the technical skill prerequisites for a given activity, and the member code of ethics, which define our community expectations. Prospective participants who have a question about their ability to meet an essential eligibility criteria should contact the activity leader for more information. If the activity leader has any questions or concerns about accommodating a prospective participant, they should contact Mountaineer staff before denying the request. In some instances, a participant may require the assistance of a trained aide to meet one or more of the relevant EECs. Examples of trained aides include service animals, ASL interpreters, and individuals trained to assist a participant with physical or communication requirements. If a participant requires a trained aide to meet any of the relevant EECs, the participant or aide should notify the trip leader beforehand. The trained aide should also consult the relevant EECs to make sure that they meet the physical and cognitive requirements, as well as any additional prerequisites for the activity. Trained aides do not need to be paying members of the Mountaineers, but they must fill out and complete a waiver and read and acknowledge all applicable rules and safety information before participating in any activity. This typically involves registering for a free guest membership. At the time of registration, participants must ensure that there is sufficient space for both themselves and their trained aide on the activity roster. Because trained aides are present to support an individual with disability, they are not required to pay for participation. If a participant would like to request that the Mountaineers provide a trained aide to support their participation in an activity, they should contact the leader with as much advance notice as possible, preferably at least one month in advance of the activity start date. Please note that in the case of sign language interpreters, the Mountaineers may be required to provide this accommodation under law. As always, do not deny any request without consulting staff. Get in touch with staff early if you have a request that you don't know how to support. The Mountaineers will provide trained aides, including ASL interpreters, on a case-by-case -case basis. If you need support contracting a trained aide, please contact Mountaineer staff for assistance. Committees may choose to fund the service of a trained aide through their committee or branch budget. The Mountaineers also has funding available to all committees and branches through a centralized program budget. Please inquire with Mountaineers staff before committing funds from the Mountaineers program budget. The Mountaineers reserves the right to deny requests from the program budget that are cross prohibitive to the organization. The Mountaineers essential eligibility criteria are broken into several sections. Basic EECs cover the baseline physical and cognitive skills necessary for participation in an indoor activity, such as a seminar or lecture. Basic field-based EECs cover the baseline physical and cognitive skills necessary for participation in any of our outdoor activities, such as trips and clinics. Relevant activity-based EECs cover the physical and cognitive skills necessary for participation in a specific type of activity. For example, this includes independently turning face up in the water for our sea kayaking and sailing programs, or the ability to independently travel over loose and unstable terrain for our alpine climbing and scrambling programs. Generally speaking, requests that don't require a change in volunteer ratios, the use of specialized equipment, or the allocation of any additional funds should be accommodated. When in doubt, volunteers should always contact staff for support but our hope is that leaders will use common courtesy to accommodate these types of requests. Many of the requests that we receive aren't so simple. In the case of a complex or difficult request that you're unsure of how to accommodate, please contact staff for support. 
Do not deny any request without first consulting staff. Unlike our essential eligibility criteria guidelines, the Service Animal Policy is a policy document that helps to ensure that the Mountaineers programs are in compliance with the law. This document helps to answer questions about when service animals must be accommodated, when they might not be able to be accommodated, and what questions a Mountaineers volunteer or staff member may ask to guide a discussion with a prospective participant. Under the Washington Law Against Discrimination, a service animal is defined as any dog or miniature horse that is individually trained to do work or perform tasks for the benefit of an individual with disability, including a physical, sensory, psychiatric, intellectual, or other mental disability. The work or tasks performed by the service animal must be directly related to the individual's disability. Under the law, the use of an animal for protection, safety, emotional support, well-being, comfort, or companionship does not qualify an animal as a service animal. Under the law, staff and volunteers may only ask two specific questions about a participant service animal. One, is the animal a service animal required because of a disability? And two, what work or task has the animal been trained to perform? These questions may help staff or volunteers better differentiate between a service animal and an emotional support, therapy, comfort, or companion animal. The Mountaineers empowers leaders to have these conversations directly with participants. If the leader is unsure of the circumstances or has concerns about the service animal's participation in a Mountaineers program, they should contact Mountaineers staff for support. The Mountaineers is not required to accommodate a service animal if accommodation would fundamentally alter the nature of the program or overrule legitimate safety requirements. In addition, a person may be asked to remove their service animal from the program if one, the animal is out of control and the handler does not take effective action to control it, or two, the animal is not housebroken. Any behavior or actions that constitute a risk to property or others may also be grounds for refusal. Please know that, according to the law, allergies and fear of dogs are not valid reasons for denying access or refusing service to people using service animals. As always, if you're concerned about integrating a service animal into your program, please contact Mountaineer staff before denying the service animal's participation. In instances when a service animal cannot participate, the Mountaineers must offer the participant the opportunity to participate without the service animal, so long as they are able to continue meeting the relevant EECs. Staff or volunteers will not be responsible for the control and or supervision of a participant service animal at any time. Leaders may notify activity participants that a service animal will be joining the activity or event. If another participant chooses to cancel their participation on that basis, any registration fee will be refunded in full. Because the Mountaineers is a community of members, we encourage leaders to reach out to the person with the service animal and ask if they mind you notifying the group that a service animal will be present at the upcoming activity or event. If they are strongly against this for any reason, please contact Mountaineers staff for support. Service animals are permitted at all Mountaineers properties, including our three public lodges. Guests with a disability who use a service animal must be provided the same opportunity to stay in any available bed, and they may not be restricted to pet-friendly rooms or areas of the lodge. As with all of our programs, guests may not leave their service animal unattended in the lodge, and the service animal must be under the handler's control at all times. Thank you for taking the time to learn about the Mountaineers Essential Eligibility Criteria and Service Animal Policy. If you have any questions, please contact Sarah Ramsey for additional information.